turning waste into wealth. That's what junkie beans, the protein masters, are doing with the black soldier fly, transforming organic waste into chicken feeds and fertilizer. Let's hear more. This is our structure that is in, divided into two, where we feed the larvae, and there will take you to where we have the flies. So the concept that we are using is the organic food that we collect, we are feeding it on these larvae. And the larvae takes the 21 days and grows now from the tiny that has just hatched into the huge larvae that I'll show you shortly. And those are what the chicken and what we feed to our pigs and also the fish. So here we call it the hatchery. This is where we, we bring the, the eggs. After they hatch, now we bring them here where we, we do the feeding. So all these are the feeding troughs uh, that will take now the 21 days. I know you've ever seen a chicken trying to, to, to get something from the ground. So this is what they, they're looking for. The good thing about this kills all the bacteria. So that's why this is the best protein source for our chicken, for our pot, for our pigs, and also for our fish and especially the catfish. Because the protein percent is 47% protein. From this is what you get. So after the 21 days, they turn into pupa and they know how we know them, they turn into black. And we now take to the next step. Here we've dried several, just to show an example. So here we have the dried larvae. This is fully dry and it has a very sweet taste like that of women, how we can say. So this even can, people can feed on this. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, yes, it's very high in protein. So here we have the love cages. We call them the love cages because this is where the mating takes place and the laying of eggs. So and a good example is this. And if I if I can just tap, you can see you can see the, the, the flies. The, the, yes. So what happens here is we once everything has turned into pupa, we bring it here for another like seven days. Now for the seven days it turns into, into the fly and then we collect the eggs now from here. So we just give them a conducive environment. Because what we have here is what happens in nature, the decomposing process in the forest. Just that now we are doing it man-made, but in the forest it's happening naturally. So what you have here is exactly the same. So we collect the eggs and start the whole cycle again. 